right now we are tracking coronavirus for you tonight and you know parents know best when deciding whether to send their students back to the classroom. That's the message tonight from the Tennessee Commissioner of Health and Education. They just got back from our nation's capital, invited to the White House for a roundtable on reopening schools. And as WAT 6 on your side reporter Blake Stevens shows us, although they're both optimistic schools can safely reopen, they point out the decision is a personal one for families. Tennessee Education Commissioner Penny Schwinn confident in the ability of local school districts to safely reopen, but she says it's going to take a lot of work. I do think that the majority of our school districts are planning and will continue to open in person um, starting this August and September. And I also think it's going to be necessary to ensure that for every district, there is an online or remote option. While many parents grapple with that decision, Schwinn highlighting what a classroom means to a student. And when you think about very young children not having opportunities to engage with one another socially, that's actually a really critical part of, of child development. And so we're thinking about that. In middle school and high school, it's very similar. Some of the social development that happens with those critical interactions actually helps to build and in some ways is as important as the academic inst instruction that happens at schools. Schwinn and Tennessee Health Commissioner Dr. Lisa Piercy at the White House this week sharing their belief in the importance of in-person classes. It's our goal to get kids and teachers back in school so parents can go back to work. Not only does that drive good health outcomes, it also drives good economic outcomes. Piercy says the state strategy has been encourage flexibility as local districts navigate their own unique challenges. She also noted the state and local districts have plans if the virus makes its way into your child's school. What we don't want to happen is the inevitable case pop up in a school and everybody kind of freaks out and pull their kids out of school because we have a very stepwise approach uh, through the Department of Education that targets classrooms or a hallway or, or a certain wing of the school. While she says most children who become infected experience little or no symptoms, plans for reopening schools also keep teachers, staff, and the community in mind. It's not going away anytime soon, so we have to be able to do it safely and move on with our lives. Blake Stevens, WATE 6, on your side. All right, Blake, thank you. And Schwinn says the state will provide free masks for staff and students and districts that choose to use them. She points out, though, if you don't want to send your child to school in August, online learning offered by your district or by the state will ensure that your child is still enrolled in the district. This will also allow the district to continue receiving those state dollars. And just in the last few days, you know, plans have been released for Anderson, Blunt, Knox, Jefferson, Hamblin, and other East Tennessee school districts. You can find the complete reopening plans on our website, wate.com.